Hey YouTube, Maddie's 8012, Team JMT, coming to you guys with yet another deck profile. Uh, now that the March 1st ban list is confirmed on the Konami website, I've decided I'm going to start giving you guys some of my deck profiles for the next ban list, and this is my Chaos Dragons. Uh, but before I get into the deck profile, I want to give a huge shout to uh, Daniel Morris, a buddy of mine uh, who has actually been playing this deck a lot. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, copying some of his tech choices uh, in this deck uh, and then I, I believe his buddy's name is Chris uh, Chris Duff uh, that's been helping him a lot with the play testing of this deck um, and then they just kind of shifted the the deck list over to me and uh, I've made a couple changes to kind of fit my play a little bit more and um, yeah, so huge, huge props to Daniel Morris he's the the mastermind behind this deck profile so one Red Eyes Darkness Metal, one Dark Arm Dragon, three Light Pulsar, three Dark Flare, and one Eclipse Wyvern. Um, I guess that's fairly standard nowadays for Chaos Dragons. Um, uh, one BLS, one Chaos Sorcerer. I'm running Gores, double Tragodia. For, I guess that's probably all the boss monsters that I really run. Uh, now let's go ahead and get into some of the mill power. Double card trooper. Uh, I just, I love this card. There's nothing more, um, I mean, just, <laughs> it's more, there's nothing more than a, just a bigger slap in the face to your opponent than when, uh, you know, they bring out their, their Thunder King or their. Uh, still sworn roach thinking you know i've got chaos dragon shut down you just bring out car trooper you mill your three and then you crash into their roach or you crash into their thunder king and you draw a card there's just there's no bigger slap in the face to an opponent than something like that uh so yeah there's part of my mill engine next i have three Ryko, uh double lila and one Aaron. Now this begins the the tech choices that uh, Daniel has helped me with. Uh, Aaron. Uh, a lot of people are running the third Lila, and some people are running Jane to get over Thunder King. Well, you know I've got answers to Thunder King with uh, Ryko and uh, Car Trooper and whatnot. Um, but I do not have many answers to Wind Up Zen Mains. Um, a face down abyss leaned um, and sectors have been getting some play around here and they're playing tomato and I can I can bounce their tomato back into their deck uh, I can get rid of gotchi um, so many defensive things that are in the game right now getting rid of reapers getting rid of marshmallows all kinds of stuff that people are just overlooking um, and Aaron is an immediate answer. Uh, the Mermill playtesting that I've done, my opponent sets a Biss lane thinking they're going to get their playoff with their Megalo next turn, and I just go bounce, 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 and it just it pisses them off so bad. Um, all right, but yeah, there's there's the, the start of the tech choices. Uh, I'm still running the Tour Guide engine, so I've got two Tour Guides and Night Assailant. Uh, biggest reason, just Night Assailant is just too good in this deck. You can discard it from your hand to get your, uh, along with a light, to get your Light Pulsar back from the grave. When you do that, you can add a Ryko back to your hand. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's too good, man. You've got to run this card. And with the loss of Sangin out of the Tour Guide engine, I've decided to put in a Tour Bus. Uh, the biggest reason I like Tour Bus is because when this card is sent to the graveyard. You get to target one monster in either player's graveyard and put it back into the deck. So if I if this gets milled off of Card Trooper, if this gets milled off of one of my Light Sworn monsters, I get to put it back. In, I got to put a card back into the deck. So uh, this is still good for me because I can get its effect off at any time, and it's not that bad of an effect. If I do draw into it. Um, and I have to set it, or if I get aggressive and try to go in there and poke it at a thousand, uh, its effect is still not that bad. So I mean, yeah, it, it's worth trying it out. Uh, next, another tech choice uh, that I've got to give da credit to Daniel for: Debris Dragon. Now, at first, I was I thought this was kind of iffy, uh, but he was like, you know, you can grab Nine Assailant, you can grab Ryko, you can grab Car Trooper, uh, make Black Rose, make Iron Chain Dragon. Um, but me personally, I was like, eh, I don't really think that's worth it until 
I was play testing. Uh, I actually, I think, I, I think I was playing at the Knottsville Regional. I was, I was playing on the side against some people, and I summoned a Bree Dragon. I grabbed Car Trooper. I milled for cost. I understand he doesn't get the attack bonus, but I still milled for cost. I milled a Light Pulsar Dragon. Then I removed Debris Dragon to bring out Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And then use uh, Red Eyes' effect to get Light Pulsar back. So Debris Dragon and Red Eyes Darkness Metal in hand led to a field of Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Light Pulsar, and Card Trooper. So whenever Card Trooper would have died, I would still have gotten his effect to draw a card. So Debris Dragon has actually paid off more often than not. He, has been, he is really good. He's, he's in this deck. He's just he's amazing. Um Rounding out the monsters, two effect veilers. Uh, it's a light. I'm not big on hand traps right now, but it's a light. It's a tuner. Uh, with Chaos Sorcerer, it gives me access into Arcanite Magician. Um... And let's face it, I mean, it's not a horrible card. Uh, it's not it's not what I, I think is great right now, but it's it's not horrible. So there you go. That's my uh, that's my monster lineup for this deck. Uh, I don't actually know what it is total. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the spells. Pretty well staples, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Double MST, One Charge of the Light Brigade, Double solar recharge. Uh, some people are running three. I don't like that. I'm only running six light sworn, so I'm only running two solar recharge. And one allure of darkness. I think I've got something like 13, 12 or 13 dark monsters, so allure is almost always live. So there you go. There's my my spells for, for this deck. Now let's get into the traps. And I know what you're thinking. Traps and chaos dragons. Yeah, a lot of people aren't doing it, but I've decided uh, that I'm going to do this just because it's working for Daniel. So, Call the Haunted. I'm running two Call of the Haunted. Now, I know you're saying, oh, you're running Gores. Well, you know, Gores has not... Call the Haunted has not interfered with Gores so far, and I really feel like that if you're smart with Gores and with Call the Haunted, it should never interfere with each other. But you've just you've got to be intelligent in the way that you play this card. Um, but the biggest thing about this card is... Uh, blind MSTs are floating around like crazy, and anytime that you can chain this to a blind MST and grab a card trooper and draw a card, or uh, I mean maybe you're grabbing uh, a tour bus and getting to uh, getting to add another card back to the deck. Um, my favorite play is Light Pulsar. If you've got Light Pulsar engraved, you grab Light Pulsar back, it dies, and then you're grabbing Dark Flare back, or you're grabbing um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Uh, I mean, it's got its plays. Uh, there's a lot of plays for this. Uh, it was a lot better with Sangin. Um, you know, they chain, you chain it, that you grab Sangin, it dies, and you get to grab something out of your deck. Uh, we don't have that luxury anymore, so yeah, now I'm grabbing stuff like Tour Bus and Light Pulsar. Um, next, the last two traps, which actually puts me up to 42 on this deck, double breakthrough skill. Now, uh, the downfall of a lot of these these style decks that run the Light Sworn Engine uh, has been milling your spells and traps and not being able to benefit from that. Uh, this, you can mill and still gain its effect. Um, you can negate the uh, effect of a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, then you can also remove it to negate the effect of a monsters on your, your opponent's side of the field during your turn. So people are like, oh, I'm going to side in uh, Fossil Dinas or, you know, um, Christia. I'm going to, you know, agents are like, I'm going to drop my Christie on you and I'm going to shut you down. You know what? Now I can just remove this, negate Christia. Uh, and then I get to do all my special summoning. Or you know what? I'll just remove this, negate Zen Mains, you know, swarm out the field, and then Zen Mains can't activate. Oh, well, you know what? He dies, and now I get to attack you. Uh, you know, negate gotcha gotcha. Um, a lot of stuff that you can do with this that a lot of people just haven't had a chance to, to really put into play. I mean, I feel like this card is extremely underrated, and I feel like you need to start picking this card up. So there's the main deck. It's actually at 42. I do know that. I don't know how many it's it's split out to as far as the monsters. Um, but there you go. That's it's that's the main deck. Now let's get into the extra deck. 
Gustav Max, um, Trigodia, and Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I hate going into this because I hate giving up my Red Eyes Darkness Metal. But at 3,000 and the potential of burning uh, for 2,000, uh, he's a game ender. So you kind of need him in there. One guy, a dragon, the Thunder Charger. I use him to overlay onto Heretic Dragon King of the Tum, uh, grabbing my Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I know you can only make this by using your two uh, Light Pulsars, and that kind of sucks, but hopefully the play that you make leads into being able to replace Light Pulsar and put Gaia Dragon on board too. So, you know, it, it's worth playing it for the plays that you do have. Strike Bouncer. Exabeetle. Uh, again, your plays there come from Chaos Sorcerer and Light Pulsars, and you're laying Gaia Dragon over top of this guy, making him, you know, sending stuff to the graveyard and, you know, protecting and whatnot. Abyss Dweller, because he's nearly staple now. Queen Dragoon Jin. Uh, grabbing stuff out of the graveyard is amazing in this deck, and this guy helps you do that some more. Uh, My Stroke. Giga Brilliant uh, is just OTKs waiting to happen. Zen Mains, Levier, and then something that you guys don't see very often, Synchro Monsters. Arcanite Magician for the Effect Veiler. Um, the Effect Veiler Chaos Sorcerer play doesn't happen near as often as you like, but you've got to have it in there, or you. I just I dread not. I dread being in the position where I can make that play and not having it. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, Iron Chain Dragon, and then last but not least, a Cataster. So there is the extra deck. And now, I uh, don't normally go into side decks, but I am for this one. Uh, just a couple of key cards out of the side deck for me uh, that I think you guys need to keep in mind when building a deck like this. Deck Devastation Virus wrecks so much stuff. Uh, and you have a lot of targets for Deck Devastation Virus in this deck. So you've got to have that in there. It wrecks Mermails. It wrecks Windups. They're still going to be around. Don't get fooled, guys. Windups are still good. I'll do a deck profile on my Windup deck here soon. But Windups are still good. Uh, it wrecks Windups. It wrecks Mermails. It wrecks just so many things. Uh, you've got to have that in there. Next, Skill Drain. A lot of people will overlook this card for a side deck option in this deck because they're like, oh, well, I want my Red Eyes effect. I want my, my Tour Guides effect. I want, my, well, you know what? All of those guys are still big beaters. So, yeah, you're still bringing out 2,500 attack monsters, 2,800 attack monsters, you know, and they're still, they're still big attacks. Yeah, you're not gaining their effects, but they're still big attacks, and it's still worth playing this card when you can stop your opponent from doing everything. And last but not least, Soul Exchange. Uh, this is a card that I feel like you have to give a, sh a chance in the side deck um, because you have six one tribute monsters and uh, one, two, three, four, four two tribute monsters. And you can always Soul Exchange your opponent's problem monster. Say they have a Doka on board. Soul Exchange, bring out my Light Pulsar. Yeah, you're giving up your battle phase, but you're getting your light pulsar on board and you're getting rid of your opponent's problem monster. So there you go, guys. There's just some key cards that you want to keep in mind when building the side deck for uh, this deck. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, Chaos Dragons. Uh, again, huge thanks to... Daniel Morris and Chris Duff for all the help that they've given me uh, in building this. And I guess Eric Pence too. We'll, we'll throw him out there. He gave me some help. He gave me some help with it also. So there you go, guys. There's Maddie's Daddy 12's Chaos Dragons for the March 1st ban list. Uh, I appreciate it. And like always, guys, subscribe, comment down below, show us how much you love us.